Hello investor and trader, welcome back to another video. So I have a subscriber ask me to do a Fidelity platform, how to set up moving averages on the charts. So this is what the video is about. Now, I'm not gonna go over how to use these moving averages because that's a different topic and a different video, or you can YouTube it, how to use moving averages. It'll tell you there's plenty of YouTuber talks about it. So I'm not gonna go over that but I'm gonna go over how to set it up. Okay, so what you see here is my trading setup, right? So I need to pull this over on that screen, okay? For me to add in another chart. Now I have dual screen. What you see is this right here is on my, on my other screen that you don't see on my laptop screen. So let me move to here. So in order to add in another chart, you just go to chart click on new chart and this chart will pop up. Now you can move this chart anywhere inside the platform. If you decide you have a dual screen or something and you, and you move, want to move this outside of the platform, you have to click on this little gray area right here. If you click down here, it's not gonna work, you see? It's not gonna work. So you have to click it right here, select float window. Now you can take this anywhere outside of the Fidelity platform if you want. If you have a second monitor, go ahead and do that. Now if you want to bring it back to the platform, same thing, right click, put dock. There you go. Now you're back into the platform. So I'm going to make this a little bit bigger so easier to see. And I'm going to set up the moving averages. So for the symbol, just click, just make it B-R-I-K, Berkshire Hathaway, Warren Buffett stock. Okay, so let's just get started. So you gotta go to settings. Oh, hold on, let me, let me, oops, sorry. Let me clear these up. Pretend these averages, moving averages are not here because this is a whole video about, right? How to set it up. So you go to settings, right click. This window will pop up. Uh, I prefer candlesticks. These are setting you can play around with. It's up to you. Show tab. We're definitely gonna need this. That's right here, the tab button. It just show you. It just gonna show how to jump, jump, different time frame of a click of a, click of a button, rather than change it down here manually. You again, you can play around with these. These are just a grid. I prefer like zero. I like to keep my chart clean and simple. Watermark. I prefer under twenty. It's a, it's a logo right here. There's also a symbol right here in case you might, you know, don't want any, you can always go back to see right here, the right hand corner to make sure what stock you are trading. Okay, so for intraday, intraday meaning inside of the day, right? Intraday. So I have two moving averages up that I use. So you go to indicator, type in EXP, exponential moving average. Again, you can use simple moving average or exponential. Again, I'm not gonna go over the difference. You can always do to these stuff. I just prefer exponential. So you go to here on this little arrow, right click, click modify. So for the intraday, uh, I prefer red for the two, for the 20. You can change this number if you like. You can use 20, you can use 18, you can use 19, 21, up to you. I just prefer 20. The style, you can make dash, dot, wherever to you have it for a solid line. You can make how thickness you want. Uh, I like thin so it's easier to read. Click apply. Okay, so that's the first moving average. I need one more, so repeat the process. EXP. For this one, gonna make it my modified, uh, make it green. This one gonna be six for me, apply. Okay, that's all I need is these two moving averages for day trading, intraday. Now, if I wanna go to a bigger time frame, like the daily, the monthly, the weekly, go to this tab, click on it, call this the daily. We're gonna modify this a little bit. So again, go to setting. Well, I'm gonna go to setting. I prefer, you know, my own settings. Uh, again, it's up to you. You can you can play around with these. I prefer this one. I don't need this. I prefer this, and I prefer under 20%. Apply. 
Okay, so let's add in the moving averages. Again, you go to indicator. You can look for exponential right here. It must be somewhere. There it is. Or just type in EXP. Much quicker. Click on this. We're going to modify it. So let's start out with 50. I prefer 50 to be green. Now this is the this is the daily, okay? Daily right here, daily. I prefer green. Solid color is fine. Type apply. Okay, now do one more time. EXP. On this little arrow, click on that. Modify. For the period, we I'm going to use 100. For the color, I prefer orange. Keep these the same. Apply. Okay, now we have two moving averages up. It's right here. I also tell you the color to identify which average is which. So one more time, EXP. Click on this. Modify. Now 150. 150, I prefer yellow. Apply. One, okay. Now one more time. EXP. Modified. This is going to be 200. For the 200, I prefer red. Apply. Okay. Now we have four moving averages. 50, 100, 150, 200. I choose this color for a reason. Just think about Beetle Game, or those who play Beetle Game. You know when you first have your character out, your health is 100%, it's green, right? And then your opponent attack you, your blood begin to dripping, right? Or your health is going to decrease, as you know, and then you almost die, right? Your blood, gonna, you know, your blood, your health level is going to turn red, right? You almost, you know, then you, when you, once you break all that, you're going to die, right? <laughs> well, same concept for the stock market, in a way. That's why I use this color for a reason. Now I'm not saying you know red is bad or anything. I'm just saying that just just pretend these are level of defense. So when the stock is bouncing off the green, it's very healthy. It's very bullish. Now if the stock fall below the green and hits right here or near, it's not gonna be exact. It could be a little bit above it, a little bit lower, and then a bounce. That's good. That means it's still holding pretty good in terms of defense. Okay, it's still very bullish. And then so on, so on. Now you may ask, what happened if the stock fall below this red moving average, which is the 200, like it did right here? You see that right here? Now that can happen. When that does happen, don't freak out because people think, oh my gosh, it below the defense. How low can I go? Well, then you have to zoom out. That's why I use all time frame. So this is the daily. Go out to the weekly. It still apply. Use these moving averages right here. The 50, 100, 150, 200. Keep it the same. But now it's a weekly instead of the daily. Now let's go back to the coronavirus crash. You can clearly see that. Oh my goodness, it's still below the red. How low can it go? Well, zoom out one more time to the monthly. Okay. And there you go. You see? Not so bad, right? It barely tapped the 100 EMA. Now you go to the five year, you can clearly see a bigger picture. See what I mean? This is a coronavirus crash right here for Berkshire Hathaway. It barely touched this right here. That means it's still an uptrend. It doesn't even touch this right here. So there's no point for you to freaking out like other people freak out during that time. Remember that time? People thought end of the world, stock up toilet paper, stock up cup noodles. I can't even find damn cup noodles, man. Damn. And what else? What else? What else is the stock up? Water? Let's stock up a lot of stupid stuff. What? Well, guess what? I'm stocking up. I'm stocking up stocks. <laughs> And I did. I bought a shitload of stock right here when people are panicking. <laughs> okay, <laughs> that's a little side thing. All right, now let's just go back to the daily. Now let's go six months. We're going to add two more moving averages. I call these the momentum moving average. Okay, so again, indicators, EXP. You can use blue if you like. Now I'm going to modify. I'm going to use... Yeah, blue is fine. Instead of 20, uh, 20 is fine too. Yeah, click apply. 20 works fine. Oh, no, no, one thing, one thing, one thing. Forgot. I need to make this dash instead of solid line. Just to show that it is different moving average. I don't, I don't get confused. 
Okay, these are momentum, hence the word momentum. It moves pretty damn fast compared to these moving averages. Again, I'm not going to show you guys how to how it works. That's another that's not like a whole another video about it. I'm going to show you how to, how to add how to set it up. Okay, one more time, EXP. I think it's this one, right? I can't even tell which one is which because they're both kind of blue. Okay, for this one, let's just use something light, like white. And this, I prefer six. Again, it's all personal preference. Some people prefer five. Some people prefer four. For the 20, I prefer 20. Some people prefer 18. I use 18 too. Some people prefer 19. Again, it's all, it's all just personal preference. Again, this has to be dash instead of solid. There we go, right here. See that? When the averages, again, I'm going a little off topic here. This is a side note. You see this? This is the difference between a core moving average, which is these four right here, a core. These two right here are momentum. Hence the dash, hence the solid. Core, momentum. See how it's sloping down right here? But yet the green is still going up. You see that? That because it will take a long time for the 50 to sloping down. Again, this is another, this is another story. But momentum, these things go like swing up and down all over the place. See how it sloped down, cross over right here, and slope back up, and slope back down, over, so on and so on. Again, that's another topic. But yeah, these are the four core moving averages that I use on the daily base, the weekly base, and the monthly base. Once you're done setting these up, make sure you go back to charts and save it. So how do I save it? I forgot how to do it. Is it? Damn. Oh, right here. I think it's right here, right? You have to save it or else you got to redo. Oh, yeah, there we go. Save chart. Make sure you save chart. Name it whatever you want to name it. Gen chart one, for instance. Click save. If you do not save this right here after all these work and you close the platform, guess what happened when you reopen the platform? It's gone. Yeah, it's gone. Trust me. You don't believe me? Try yourself. So make sure you save it. And then let's say you want to open it, right? You close it, and let's say you open another chart, new chart, type in any symbol, McDonald for instance, you see, right there. Okay, it has it up, that's good, because I just saved it. If you don't save it, you'll lose it. All right, that's all I'm saying. Make sure you do that. And it, it took me a while to figure that out, because I, I'm tired. Can you imagine right here? I have like 10 charts up, 10 different charts. If you don't save it, guess what? I have to do all 10 of these over and over. It's really tedious and, re and repetitive. So make sure you do that. Okay, that's it for the video. Hope you guys enjoyed uh, this little short presentation, how to add these averages or how to set it up on your Fidelity Active Trader Pro. See you guys in the next video.